Hey guys, my name is Nita Marie and I am a top OnlyFans creator and I am 47 if you can believe it. I started OnlyFans five years ago right after my divorce when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to be when I grew up. <laughs> and being an adult model has been truly uh, an eye-opener of just all the different things that could happen in your 40s as an adult model. So today I wanted to interview a few of my girlfriends that are also over 40 and share a little bit about what they think being an adult model is like in their 40s. Hello, this is Nita Marie here. I'm a mom, an entrepreneur, an online model, and a women's empowerment coach. I have built my dream life by being an OnlyFans model and I have empowered and inspired lots of other women to come alongside me to build their own dream life. You are going to see an inside scoop of some of their stories, their struggles, their highs, their lows, their obstacles they've had to overcome. And you're gonna see lots of laughter, lots of fun, lots of boobs. <laughs> and I can't wait to invite you into Nita Marie Land. So I have been modeling for the last five years and what I love about being an OnlyFans model are the women that I've met. And I was able to start a coaching group um, four years ago and it has been one of the best experiences of my life because I absolutely love every woman I've met with the exception of maybe one or two. <laughs> but for the most part, everyone's been amazing. And I have seen women come out of their shell when maybe they didn't think they had friends in this industry. We've created friends, um, women that didn't think they could become sexy, they are becoming sexy. Um, I personally opened up my own shell and totally healed past sexual trauma, um, past shame around my body and sexuality. And it's been such a great experience. I just want to bring this message to more women um, and help more women feel confident in their body and their sexuality and make money along the way. My name is Mama Blonde Bombshell. Um, I am 42. I am a OnlyFans model and I've been doing it for about two and a half years now and um, I love it. I am Fern Forrester and I have been doing um, OnlyFans for almost six months now and it's been a lot of fun i'm 52 and this is a whole new thing for me i'm mallory knight i am 59 and i have been doing only fans modeling for about two years now i love it i absolutely love it my fans have done a lot for me not only supporting me on the income side of it but um, being a 40 year old woman, you know, we're not 20 anymore, but they really helped me fall in love, like full wholeheartedly fall in love with myself again. When I first started it, I mean, I, you know, I've got a couple kids. The girls aren't as plump as they used to be. I have stretch marks, I have, thick, I have thickness, and I used to be really, well, I wasn't crazy insecure, but I was insecure and I wondered how the world was going to react to that and there's always a really scare factor there of um, you know rejection and and her tits are too saggy and she has too many stretch marks and to come to find out that people love it they love the naturalness of my body they love that my body's naturally formed this these saggy boobies and <laughs> and stretch marks and all that kinds of stuff and they really show me how sexy I am as who I am. I think that the confidence and, and same with them too, the love and appreciation that I give them and they give me. So I, I connect with them on a deeper level. So love you guys. I would say in this time that I have done this, which is much shorter, the thing that I love the most is being able to um, be creative. And I also love just the, the camaraderie with the other women. Um, and collaboration and there's not really competition it's just everyone helping each other I love that aspect um, I think like Mama Bombshell was saying I 
also am feeling much more confident and secure mm -hmm. within myself now. I, and I don't know if some of that comes with being my age, you know, 52. Um, but I was searching for myself and I feel like I am finding myself through, through OnlyFans. Yep. And I'm just, I'm loving it. It just strips that insecurity off, doesn't it? Yes. Like, like you have these it's insecurities like about your body, <laughs> and you find out like the world's okay with that. They're like yeah. okay with you being fifty. They're okay with you being in almost sixty and forty. Yes. And they're okay if you have mommy muffins. <laughs> and, and you know, I don't have um, large breasts, and you know that was something yeah. that I was concerned. Like, gosh, maybe I should do something about that. But yeah. I am finding that everybody loves me for me. Yep. And it is making me love me for me as well. Ah, uh, what I love about OnlyFans is being able to get into this creative process mm -hmm. that it allows me to feel powerful and in control, right? Um, I love to be able to have like a vision of something and then go through the entire process and create something that is all my own. Mm -hmm. It's me. It's authentically me. Everything about me, I can shine through in those videos and say, here I am and I love doing this. And I think it, it shows when I'm allowed yes. to be able to mm -hmm. have my control in my own video and the way that I present it to the world. And then I'm being received in the world in a way that has made me feel empowered and beautiful from the inside out. I think I get so many compliments about who I am and how I am than just how I look, right? Yes. I mean, that's a part of it, obviously, because we're doing this visually creative thing, right? That we want to look really cool on video. <laughs> but if you have this like shine inside of you, that you're allowed to express in this way versus it's like shame, huh? Powerful. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. I I I feel a little like you know being in the '50s '40s realm, we've been kind of bogged down by society telling us like that we you can't, can't be sexy anymore. Right. That you you know you're we're 50, not, we're you're not done. supposed to be sexy. And even before that, just you know, repressing your sexuality. Girls aren't supposed to be sexual. You know, mm -hmm. that's for the men. Um, but now I feel like I am. I can actually be a sexual person. You don't have to be an OnlyFans model to find that power. You don't have to be an OnlyFans model to to find that sexual sexuality that 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 we're talking about. You can you can do it by yourself. You don't have to be in front of a camera. You don't have to go sign up and be an OnlyFans model. Like I encourage women, you know, young and and mature, like like find that because when you find that, like you don't want to live without it again. You're, so it sets you free. Yep. It, yep. There's a freedom to it. It's a it's it's harnessing your own creative power. Yep. And there is something yeah just amazing it's hard that. to explain it's it's an emotion it's a feeling versus something you can explain and put in words yeah, I have had so much fun for so many reasons um, if anything from creating just artistic content and all the way to meeting others models and collaborating with other strong beautiful women um, it's just it's just been an amazing amazing ride so far. Also as a, a 40 year old um, adult model, just the fact that it just allows us to express ourselves um, and embrace our, our sexuality um, on a platform to really create some real connections with other people and support and help each other. So there's, there's so much to it that really lends a hand and it being overall just an amazing, amazing experience. You know, the fun part of it is we do get, you know, to, to wear all kinds of different fun things and really tap into who we are and creating our, our identity um, in a positive, uh, very non-judgmental way. Uh, we get to connect with other women in that same way. Um, and that's also such a positive and uh, really 
really makes such a difference in, in confidence and self-worth. It's just truly, um, overall, just, a, just an amazing, amazing experience.